What's up guys, my name is Marwa and it's, if it's first time here on this YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. So I'm in Havana, Cuba, yeah I mean. Yeah, so today I'm here with a guest, what's your name? Hey, I am Lisandra, Lisandra, oh you can call me Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, so this is Lisa. I just met Lisa from a social media and uh, because she's Cuban, I just want to know how it's dating in Cuba. Como es los citas aquí en Cuba? Es muy difícil? Uh, no. Is it you know, difficult? So she's going she no, no. to tell us. It's, uh -huh. not, it's not that difficult. Uh -huh, tell us. All I need is you, baby, baby. Because people are very close. Here in Cuba? Here in Cuba. Mm. And you can meet, you can meet people anywhere you can meet people here in Malecon, you can mm. meet people in, in a park uh -huh. I, uh, there are a park mm -hmm. and uh, have a lot of, of people mm -hmm. in there they they have reunion oh yeah to, like meetings uh -huh. yeah, like, like meeting uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, to to talk about common common topics uh -huh. to i don't know to take photos to Okay. To share a moment. Uh, another thing, we. Um, ¿Cómo te digo? A ver, te voy a hablar ahora en español. Yeah, Disculpa. Sí, no hay problema. Eh, las personas acá nos reunimos en puntos muy sencillos, uh -huh. en lugares que no, no tiene que ser una discoteca, no tiene que ser una, una piscina muy elegante, no tiene uh -huh. que ser el lugar muy elegante. Acá son muy cercanos, lo mismo nos podemos reunir en, como te decía, aquí en Malecón, en un parque, uh -huh. en Copelia, como uh -huh. mismo, hay muchas personas. Y caminando por la calle es donde más te encuentras las personas. Acá el cubano es muy charachero, uh -huh. eh, con. Eh, comienza a hablar con cualquiera, no tiene ninguna vergüenza, no tiene ninguna pena. Okay. Y ahí entablas una amistad como tal, a friendship. Uh -huh. So what she's saying, she's actually saying is that you can meet people from parks. Like right here we are in a place they call Malecon. It's one of the most famous areas in Cuba, especially Havana, if you're in Havana. It's just a long stretch of maybe like a wall and where you can sit and have conversations. And she's saying here people in Cuba, they are in parks, you can go meet people, you can talk to people, people are so much open, like you don't need a very fancy area, you just need like a normal place and you can make like friendship from those areas. Actually, yeah. actually, uh -huh. we are sit in the place uh -huh. the most, uh, donde, la mayoría, donde ocurre la mayoría de las citas. Oh, es aquí, okay. estamos sentados aquí, aquí es donde más so están las citas. She's saying where we are seated, that is Malecon. You see that stretch over there? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that stretch. So, that stretch is where most of the dates happen. Yeah. Or just Google Malecon, Cuba, and you'll see more about, more about this place. And uh, she, what, what I've just noticed is she's telling me Cuba is more like a humble place. People, you don't have to need like to be so fancy for you to go for a date. You don't need to go to like hotels and like buy those coffees and stuff. It's more, <laughs> yeah, it's more like, let's... No, mira, uh, de hecho, ve aquello. Uh, Eso es lo que más nos sentamos acá. So those are like the main things you can buy and just have a day tea in Cuba, like popcorns and eat and you know, yeah. Entonces, ¿cuál es tu consejo para los visitantes aquí o para los, uh, los visitantes que vengan acá? Mi, mi, mi primer consejo uh, y más importante. So consejo means uh, advice, okay? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Eh, el más importante es que busquen a una amistad aquí en Cuba, que esa persona lo, que los ayude, que los guíe aquí en Cuba, porque hay muchas cosas, como por ejemplo, eh, muchos extranjeros que llegan a Cuba, eh, está el caso de que llegan y cambian dinero en el aeropuerto, no, ahí te sale más caro, trata de buscar casas de cambio cerca de, de la ciudad como tal, fuera del aeropuerto, ¿me entiendes lo que te quiero decir? Eso es un ejemplo, también está eh, que esas personas te lleven a, a comprar, a buscar tu, tu producto de primera necesidad en lugares más baratos, en tiendas que no, pues, no necesariamente tienen que ser muy caras, ¿me entiendes? So, actually what she's saying is, guys, like, like as a foreign person coming to Cuba, you should always try to find a friend here in Cuba who can show you things. For example, like changing money or exchanging money, you may try to go to the airport to change money. But maybe as a Cuban, they can show you places where you can change money in a very good rate, you know. That's what she's trying to say. And buy things uh, more, te digo, menos cara. Oh, like, yeah, like, 
a better cheap place you know like cheaper 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 uh -huh. cheaper, yeah, cheaper, cheaper, places. cheaper places you know it means like better exchange rates that's what she's trying to say wow <laughs> so yeah and also she has a youtube channel what's the name of your youtube channel my youtube channel is lisa gassi just another cuban girl it's a, oh. it's a little long you can you can look for lisa gassi yeah but well, you know what i'll do guys as this video plays at the end of the video the round circle youtube channel will be showing it will be her youtube channel because I think we met we met on Instagram, right? Yes, we met on Instagram. Yeah, I saw she liked one of my photos and when I checked her profile, I saw like she was a YouTuber. I was like, no, I just want to talk to her and see if we can make an interview. And guys, that will be the end of this video. I hope I helped you. And also maybe because she's Cuban and you want to come to Cuba, you can check her channel or hit her on Instagram. Uh, so come to Cuba, what she's saying, yeah, just come to Cuba. At least you're gonna understand more things when you're here and maybe she's gonna help you like move around so bye bye yeah thank you thank you guys bye see you in my next one